Welcome to Smelling Coffee Today, a talk show sponsored by First Baptist Church in Cleveland, Mississippi. I'm your host, Jennifer Walker, and this is my friend, Elizabeth Stallworth, hosting with us today. Welcome, and welcome to you, too. Thank you. Thank you. I have asked Elizabeth to come and talk to us about Operation Christmas Child. Um, this is the month. We're doing this in November, and this is the month that uh, people all across the the um, United States and right. pro possibly other places in the world are packing boxes and uh, Elizabeth is going to tell you more about that. So to introduce our topic today, I have this um, cup, this coffee mug is the one and it says the hidden gift of Christmas and this is a tree um, underneath, the, uh, a cross underneath this Christmas tree and it set, has the, the verse Romans 6 23, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about the gift of God and eternal life and we're about to talk to you about giving presents and mm -hmm. so what does this have to do with each other? Elizabeth is going to tell us that and um, so if you would go on and um, Tell us about Operation Christmas Child okay. and what this has to do with the gift of eternal life. Okay. Well, Operation Christmas Child is done by Samaritan's Purse, and um, they have sent over 100 million gifts to um, 130 country, different countries over the 20 years they've been doing it. Mm -hmm. So... Um, they partner with churches, of course, who, who get these boxes and people like you and me uh -huh. fill them and um, we send them in and they send them to all kinds of places. Um, now, Samaritan's Purse mm -hmm. is a ministry of the Billy Graham evangel mm -hmm. Evangelical mm -hmm. His son, right? his eldest son, Franklin, uh -huh. uh, is the CEO okay. of it. And he is the one that um, started Operation Christmas Child uh -huh. through so Samaritan's Purse. So we can Purse. trust that this is a good organization. Right, yes. right, right. And you can go to um, www.samaritanspurse.org and get all the information. Uh -huh. They have videos from passing them out. It is a very... Um, uh -huh. Very I'm having good. chills thinking about seeing some oh, of those videos. It's so, you should, so you great. Do that. Yes. yes. Um, as far as what, you know, if you want to pack a box and, and what would go in it, they have a brochure in each box. And um, if you don't have a box, if you're at home and you, you can't get a box, you can go online. Um, you can come to the come here and get one or if you're in Cleveland you can stop by our church right. and pick one up this week. Exactly. But you can use a shoe box. This is how it yes. originally started with shoe boxes. With shoe boxes. Mm -hmm. So you would take your shoes out of the box and yes. put good stuff in it. Right. Tape it up and wrap it up. Right. And um, right. And yeah. then they of course have these nice boxes that you can get. Um, people use um, that's plastic plastic yeah. like Tupperware uh, rubber made boxes and, and put the stuff in it. Um, as far as what goes in it you get the brochure and it tells you you um, what you can and, and, and cannot put in it. They don't want anything that's of a dangerous nature or liquids or perishable items. They, mm -hmm. they don't want anything like that. But um, this box I brought in, it's one that my 15-year-old daughter packed okay. and um, she she wrote a note. Oh, that's um, really a sweet touch. Well, I, she wanted to and... Um, that's great. So we, we did that and we, we did a washcloth and um, some hair, hair barrettes. You get to idea. choose whether you want to do a boy or a girl. Uh -huh. And you also have to label, when you label it, you tell them what age it kind of uh -huh. goes. So what age did you all do? We, we did the um, five to nine. Okay. Is, is the okay. age that we did. Okay. And we, we got a, the brush. You can do a brush, a comb, um, anything like that. We did a toothbrush. However, you cannot do toothpaste because it, it's a liquid they don't I want anything like that, that. right okay because okay. my girls wanted to and okay. we couldn't we got some crayons and a bar of soap you can do soap to go with the rag and then some socks some nice Cute. plush soft socks and a little mermaid doll and this little toy here they just said they had to have and a coloring book um, and other things you can put in there, you can put a, a picture Bible, you can put um, anything like of this nature. Just make sure you don't put anything in there. Like a toy um, gun. They don't want right, any no, toy Right, no, no. They don't. Um, and, and like a G.I. Joe um, guy, you wouldn't want to do anything like that. They see enough of that. So um, we, we want to send them things that um, they, they haven't seen. 
and um, and and just bless them. The videos, if you can, are just beautiful when they get them. There are stories of um, these boxes go out, and there are a lot of boxes that go out. And they don't know which who's going to get what box. Mm -hmm. And there are stories of a little boy, and it was cold, and he doesn't have a coat. And he happened to get the box that has a coat in it. A little jacket. Right. right. Wow. There was a little girl who... Um, for whatever reason, a, uh, it was a disease-related um, thing. She didn't have eyes, which was really, you know, but she, everything in her box that she got um, appealed to her other senses. They, they, they felt weird. Oh, they made wow. noises. And it, to me, that's just, that's just God. That is yes. so cool how he is able to orchestrate who gets what box and when they get it and how they get it and what's in it. That it's is really, really cool. Neat. Meets their needs. And you don't have to spend mm -hmm. a lot of money on this. I um, sure don't. So you all, uh, you can go to like the Dollar Tree or to Fred's or, yes. you know, Walmart. Um, like this soap appears to have been in a package it of was. more than one, right. you know, a bar of soap. And so there are ways to do this economically. Some other good ideas. Have you, uh, what are some other ideas? One thing my family has done, we've always done boxes for the ages of our children. Well, that oh. was easy when they were younger, but right. now they're both teenagers. And what that is do hard. You do? That is so hard. I've been trying to think of a list. I like the washcloth idea. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. And the hair things. Um, I was thinking for the girl well, and the, the toothbrush. The washcloth, uh, you can do any kind of, uh, you can send a shirt. You can send a jacket. You can send, for the older ones or for any of them, you can do, you, you know, it, of course Anything it has to fit, fits, but they're yeah. going to tape it. So mm -hmm. if it's bulging, that's mm -hmm. okay um, so just you just need to pick which age you're gonna do and then mm -hmm. um, but for an older one you could do a shirt you could do some That's socks you could do um, a baseball cap I thought about yeah. putting in a baseball cap for the boy and like a little um, knit cap for the girl mm -hmm. and I even thought about getting a bandana because boys like bandanas yeah and girls like yeah bandanas, so you know, I've been trying to think art supplies. My kids still yes. enjoy art supplies yes. at their age. Right. The only thing you wouldn't want to do on art supplies would be paint. Yes. You would want to stay yes. away from the liquids. Yes. Okay. That's, that's the only okay. thing. Okay. And I know one year I had not read the directions. My first box I ever packed, I love chocolate so much. And so <laughs> I, <laughs> I put chocolate in it and found uh, out they had to take all that chocolate out. Yes. I was sad yes. about that. They do go through them. Once they get mm -hmm. them, they have a team of people that, that go through every box to mm -hmm. make sure that, um, that nothing's in there that shouldn't be in there mm -hmm. before it is sent. So... Um, you know, if you happen to put something in there and you've already turned it in, it's okay. They will, mm -hmm. they will get it out before mm -hmm. it goes to them. Now, our collection date here in, in Cleveland is um, the end of this month. Do you know for sure? Is it the 24th, I'm thinking? I think um, so. I think and so. And so you've got mm -hmm. a week or two. This, this is going to air on Sunday the... I can't think of the date, but anyway, you know what day it is. It's airing today, and uh, then that gives you about a week and a half or something to get your box together, and mm -hmm. then you can bring it up to the church. Uh, if you want to use a plain shoe box, you can do that, mm -hmm. and um, you can wrap it up in, in Christmas wrapping paper. If you wrap your box, though, you have to wrap, you have to wrap, the, wrap the top, top separately. and the bottom. Um, because that way they can take it off. Exactly, because they're going to go through it. why in the past I've used, before this is our first year to use these nice provided boxes, yeah. but in the past I have um, used those plastic shoe boxes so that they also get that as a gift as well. You right. know, they can use that for storage. Well, and they could keep their toys and their yeah, things their in things. it, which is a very, very good yeah. idea too. Yes. Now, Tell us also that when you give a box, you, you can download this form. Mm -hmm. You can also internet. pay it. Um, I, I was looking at it. You, there is a $7 that you enclose that in this form. You, you can put it in the pocket and just put it in there. Um, but but it, you do enclose $7. That helps them to ship it where it's going. Mm -hmm. But I, I was looking online, and I saw where you can pay it online and you get a receipt and you just put it in here oh, with it and put it in there which is really nice for for people who pay a lot of things yeah, online that's a so. great idea yeah mm -hmm. so we do want to make sure you know that besides the toys and things in right. there you do there need to help pay for the shipping that's right of the box that but just completes the gift yes mm -hmm. all right all right and elizabeth was telling us that she telling me that she has some follow-up things that after the boxes are packed right right tell us about. most people or I, well, I won't say most people. I did. I thought that you sent the box. They got it. How great. And, and they get a gift. And 
Um, and, that, and that was pretty much it, but it's not. Operation Christmas Child then has a follow-up. It's called The Greatest Journey, and it is a 12-lesson um, program that the children go through and it, where it teaches them. It teaches them about salvation in Christ Jesus. It teaches them um, how to grow in their relationship with Him and, and grow their faith in Him. Um, so it's a really nice program. They equipped people um, in those areas that are volunteering to go there and to teach and to do and the children who um, graduate from this this 12 lesson program get Bibles that is their so very wonderful. own Bible mm -hmm. so that's really how the how Christmas and the cross of Christ that's connects right. with Operation Christmas Child it is an eternal gift yes. it, it, it seems it, it's such a simple way for us to give um, and, and, and give an eternal gift. It's mm -hmm. a very cheap way, but but it's an eternal value. Mm -hmm. So it, it, I love it for that. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, I would encourage you <clears throat> to go and to look at the website and yes. watch some of those videos. Or you can go on YouTube and type in um, Operation Christmas, Op Operation Child. Christmas mm -hmm. Child. And there'll be videos from that as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to <clears throat> share with you one of just many verses in the scripture about the impact of giving. Um, I do realize that this is a very expensive time of year. Yes. And so, you know, we're- And with, where we're at as uh, a country, as a people, yes. as far as economically, we it's easy to say, I can't <clears throat> do that. That's right, it That's is. That's too much. That's right. Mm -hmm. And if that is the case, then I would encourage your family to each and we have done this before in years mm -hmm. past. We have said, okay, we're going to give up one thing we've asked for mm -hmm. and take what that money would be spent, and we're going to do just one box. That's and so, great. And, That's and great. each of the children got to pick out instead mm -hmm. of picking a gift for themselves or using you know, some money that a grandparent or something said, here, you know, use this to right. buy your Christmas presents with for your sister or whatever. Well, mm -hmm. instead of spending that money on the sister, we have taken that money mm -hmm. and we have um, spent it together as a family, sacrifice something to do a box. Right. And that's teaching our children that Christmas is so much more than about getting gifts. I mean, by the time our children right. are the ages they are, they should understand that it's not just they really, a list. And they really should. <laughs> and, the, and Christmas itself is all about giving. The, the, the reason we celebrate it is because Christ came into that's the world. Right. But he came as a gift That's right. to sinners because he was going to die for us and offer us this eternal life that, that we have through him. So it's all, the whole thing is about giving. That's right. And not receiving. That's right. And he didn't receive anything for mm -hmm. what he gave us except the joy of fellowship with That's him, right. which is what he longs right. for. Right. But, um, and so <clears throat> as adults, we understand that, but it's kind of hard to teach our children that. And so if you have little ones at home or grandchildren um, that are in your life, right. let them sacrifice something and, and tell them, I'm going to give you, you know, $5 and we're going to go to the Dollar Tree today. But instead of buying something for yourself, we're going to buy something for this little girl or boy that is your age and let them, you know, mm -hmm. I hate to say, let it hurt a little bit, but that's how we learn to give right. sacrificially is when it does hurt a little bit. And surprisingly, they, you will be um, astonished at how much they enjoy it. Yes. When I took my girls um, last night, they loved it. They each got a basket. They, they <laughs> were running around, mama, what can they have? What can we get? And they loved it. So mm -hmm. once, you, and that's just like when we give, you know, it hurts right then at the thought of it. But once you do it, oh, that's right. such joy comes comes from it so that's right in fact Luke uh, 638 says give and gifts will be given to you good measure pressed down shaken together and running over and they will pour into your lap for the measure that you deal out it will be measured back to you mm, and so if so we true. give stingily then that's and, what and we don't give to get back but then we're not going to receive the the joy, right. because we, if we give holding on to something, right. then we're not going to we're not going to enjoy that. Um, right. God always, always outgives us every time. There is <laughs> nothing He asks us to give Him time, mm -hmm. talent, or treasure. Mm -hmm. Nothing that He asks us. You to can't give outgive God. Wants. You can try. <clears throat> that's right. You can't. He, that's right. And you know, I think that this is this is so. Um, 
pivotal to be right where this verse is in Scripture because Jesus has been teaching and talking to the people at the beginning of his ministry. And if we flip back in Luke and we go to Luke chapter 1 and chapter 2, it is about the gift of Christmas. And it is all the story of of the greatest gift that was ever given and the continual gift that we have for forgiveness for sins right through that and so i want to encourage you if you um don't have anything anybody besides your immediate family to give to anybody that is beyond your scope uh get involved with operation christmas child i know there are other things in town you know around Mm -hmm. towns Mm -hmm. the angel tree is one um Mm -hmm. so many other organizations have very worthwhile um um, program set up so that right, we can right. give, but I want to encourage you to get involved in something. And if you live in Cleveland, Mississippi, you can come by the church office and pick up a box to fill up yes. um, and drop it off. And here's where at Operation Christmas dot org is that what it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it's um, www.samaritanspurse.org. It's in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. It will have drop off sites, I'm sure, for every. Yes, There's and we we about. are one. I we looked. are. Our we are one, one here. In fact, my husband will make several trips on that day with with a. Um, we're doing 500. That's our church goal. Yes. And and then other churches in Cleveland will be bringing theirs right. here too. Mm-hmm. And so it will take truck. At trucks of trailers to take these gifts, uh, these boxes to the next yes. drop off site so they can be packed and um, Which and is delivered. so cool. I know. So cool. It is really mm-hmm. neat. Our fellowship hall will start to fill up soon and boxes will just and be stacked. And what a blessing. It's It'll very be all. exciting. Mm-hmm. All right. Anything else you want to share about this? That's that about it. need to know? That's about it. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. And um, thank you all for joining us today. I'm going to ask Elizabeth to pray for you, but also to pray for the children that our boxes are going to touch. God knows. And I love the fact that just what the children need. If you feel compelled to put a wool scarf in there, then you trust that, that it's going to get into That it's going hands. to the child that... That's Mont right. Needs that wool scarf. That's, That's right, right. Because God loves them and cares about every detail of their lives, just like He cares about ours. That's right. That's All right, right. Pray for us. Heavenly Father, we just thank you um, for this great opportunity to give, God. We we thank you for this um, this organization, this this program that Samaritan Purse has in. Um, that is using to reach uh, children all around the world, oh God. We, we thank you for them, for their ministry. We ask, dear God, that you would um, um, open up a door for us to give, to give way beyond what we think we can give, and that, um, that, that we would be obedient to your calling to, to do that. God, we pray for each and every child that these boxes go to, oh God. We pray, dear God, that as you know every hair on our heads, dear God, you know every hair on their heads, oh God, that you would give them the exact box, oh God, that, that they need in their life and um, that they would know when they open it that it was packed with love and um, that they would know that it was... Um, sent in the name of Jesus and and you receive all the praise honor and glory for that oh God I also pray for the follow up program of the greatest journey oh God that you would equip those teachers to to teach those 12 lessons in such an effective way that those children would graduate receive their Bible oh God and they would have a heart for you and you alone um, we just ask your blessings upon everyone that gives, everyone that, that is over there helping, uh, that you would bless them in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, you can visit our church website at understhesteeple.com, and you can visit Elizabeth's blog at touching touching him him dot com. H-E-M.com, mm-hmm. and that comes from the uh, story Tells of us the real woman fast. woman with the issue of blood who reached in and uh, had enough faith to press through touch his hymn and was healed amen yes. all right and I, as always I'd love for you to visit with me at smellingcoffee.com until next time um, I hope that I pray that you have a, a great week and that you will give and that God yes. will bless you as you are blessing others. We'll see you next week on Smelling Coffee Today where we always seek the aroma of the knowledge of Jesus Christ in every place.